So uh, let's uh, pray the Lord's Prayer with our eyes wide open this morning. And uh, if you want to, or if you're comfortable, or um, I'm going to have my hand up. So uh, let's pray the Lord's Prayer together this morning. So our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated and you'll be seated more than for two minutes. <laughs> so, in the Lord's Prayer, we say the word kingdom twice. I want us to think about the kingdom this morning. Here at New Hope, we've been saying for a number of years now this whole idea that God's kingdom is ever warmly expanding in us and then through us and all around us and then way beyond us. Uh, maybe we could uh, say that all together. And again, those that want to do the hand actions, you can join me. God's kingdom is ever warmly expanding in us and then through us all around us and way beyond us. I want us to think for a moment about this idea that God's kingdom is always warmly expanding. Jesus, in Matthew 16, verse 18, says these words, I will be building my church. He said them almost 2,000 years ago. Ever since he said them, his kingdom has always been expanding. Uh, throughout the world, that's why we're here today. This, this church has been a church that's been expanding over these last 30-some uh, years. There are churches all around us that have been expanding for much longer than that. But this kingdom of God's church, that capital C church, has been expanding, expanding, expanding because of the power of God's word. Right after Jesus spoke these words, he also gave the disciples, gives us a glimpse of what's going to happen. He predicts the future. And so in Matthew 16, verse 21, it says this. From that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised. That's why we're here today, because what he said came true. If someone can predict their death and their resurrection, you might want to follow them. There is nothing in this world that can expand our hearts, that it can expand the kingdom of God like that promise. Nothing. Doesn't matter how powerful our military is. Doesn't matter how well our economy does. Doesn't matter what's going on in politics. Doesn't matter what's going on in the world. God's kingdom is ever warmly expanding. I want us to think for a moment about this whole idea that God's kingdom is ever warmly expanding in us, through us, all around us, and way beyond us, way beyond us. Right now, because of how this world rotates, Easter has been celebrated in Asia and in India and in Europe. Uh, again, with heavy hearts, some of our Catholic brothers and sisters with the Cathedral of Notre Dame, Notre Dame, they have been celebrating Easter for 800 years, and now this week, this Sunday, but they're still celebrating God's ever-expanding kingdom. Then in England and in Africa and all over the world, God's kingdom is ever warmly expanding way beyond us. My heart for a number of years has been expanding God's kingdom way beyond us in the nation of Thailand. I've got a picture of some of my brothers. Uh, these are uh, six brothers, Hmong brothers. The, the building behind was the building that we sat and we opened up God's word. I in English, them in uh, Thai or, or, or Laotian or even Vietnamese. Uh, so on the left uh, in the blue is Phi Yea. He lives in Laos in the white t-shirt is Sesu. He's from Vietnam. Uh, he suffered much persecution because of the name of Jesus. Uh, next one is Jonah. He's kind of got a, a name, but you can also see he's got a target shirt on. So uh, in the red, uh, and, and um, uh, uh, Jonah is from Laos. Uh, Ching in the red shirt uh, is from Laos. He's just got a presence about him. He's got a fire in his belly for his Hmong brothers and sisters in his community. Uh, he reads the word of God with such a confidence and with such a conviction. Uh, he inspires me. Next to him is Chong Zi, and Chong Zi is 69 years young, and he's, uh, uh, he suffered financially. He was a, 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 a a teacher for the communist gover government for a number of years. About 10 years ago when he would have been ready for his pension and that, he became a Christian. He announced that he became a Christian and they took his pension away. 
but he follows Jesus. He would say over and over again, I hate, I hate the devil, I hate the devil. So he followed. And then uh, Chong, at the end there, he's from Vietnam, and he told us, I can't remember how many times I've been arrested because I'm following Jesus. So over the last uh, couple of months, we've been doing this uh, together, uh, answering prayers. And we're going to take our offering in uh, just uh, a moment. Uh, so um, you've got this envelope here, uh, Motorbikes for Jesus. So if you want to put your offering in it this morning, if you don't want to, you just want to put an offering. Uh, thank you for all those that give online, give by check. We get, um, but now, because we've been collecting this total, I want to announce, so if I could have a drum roll, please. We're, the amount raised so far is, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, we're not going to do that right now. Uh, um, but the ushers are going to come and receive the offering. So if you could prepare your offering, they're going to come. The music team's going to play some uh, music for us as we gather our offering and we give together with joy today. And we'll see what God does. It's going to continue on as I uh, uh, start with this next uh, section. Um, so, uh, again, uh, thank you for giving. But uh, I wanted to announce now, so if I could, again, have a drum roll, please. The amount that we have gathered so far is, uh, no, not yet, not yet, sorry. You're adding to it right now, so uh, thank you very much. So just uh, in a, so uh, God's kingdom is ever warmly expanding in us and through us and all around us and way beyond us. Let's think about all around us right now, right now, throughout this valley, there's all kinds of other churches. They're all celebrating Easter today. There's other Lutheran churches, Catholic churches, there's Baptist churches, there's Presbyterian churches, there's Methodist churches, there's non-denominational churches, 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 all celebrating Easter, and I celebrate that. Yes, 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 Jesus, the wonder of this Jesus New Hope is a way to do church. It's not the only way. It's not a right way. It's not a wrong way. It's just the way that we do church. Some of you this morning are here for the first time, and you're going, I didn't know it was legal to do church like this. And others are you're going, man, let's, uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's celebrate some more. Um, so, again, this, this whole idea that the kingdom of God is we're warmly expanding all around us. So we're not in competition with all the other uh, churches around us. We want uh, to be given this message of Jesus and hope in the way that God is leading us to do it. We want to pray for other churches when they are doing well and excelling. We want to pray for other churches when they're hurting. We want to pray for other churches when sometimes pastors or leaders do things that uh, just breaks our hearts. But always... Always, God's kingdom is expanding warmly all around us. Expanding warmly all around us. I'm always looking at what is God doing, not what God is not doing. And if you start looking at what God is doing, he's always doing something, expanding hearts. And now, for real, for real, if you wouldn't mind, reach and grab yourself a beach ball and stand up, please. You had more than a couple minutes to be seated. <clears throat> but now, for real, the total so far in growing for togethering, together answering prayers, motorbikes for Jesus. Are you ready? Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Drum roll. The total is... Nine thousand nine hundred fifty-nine and eighty cents. It's beach ball time. Throw him up. There you go. Woo! And so, uh, for all the adults that go, I can't believe this is going on. Just watch the children. They're having a great, great time, and they'll be thinking about this for a lot of years to come. So, God's kingdom is ever warmly expanding. If you want to in us and through us and all around us and way beyond us. It's expanding through us. One of the ministries here at New Hope is New Hope Christian School. And over the last month or so, uh, the school uh, students and their parents have been gathering food for a St. Joe's Food Backpack Weekend Program. So we got a picture of all the food that they uh, had collected. And so this is one of the collections. So all these, all these food items are getting 
put, put in backpacks for ch- school children who, when they go home for the weekend, may not have regular food available to them. So this program puts all these, this wonderful, nutritious food in their backpacks, and they can take it home for the weekend. So they gathered all this food, and then the St. Joe's truck came out in front of our building and, and put out. So the kingdom of God is expanding through us with these kind of uh, touches. Question for you this morning. How did New Hope Christian School come into existence a number of years ago so that they could grow to this day and do this kind of a program? You know how that happened? It's through us. The school didn't just kind of happen. It happened through us. We were a church that said, how can we continue to influence and expand God's kingdom through us? The next venture, that this next, uh, a next step that, that New Hope wants to take, this idea of expanding God's kingdom through us, is a daycare. A little soul's daycare. We, we, we've got a kind of a rallying cry. The rallying cry is just never a day. Would you say that with me? Never a day. Imagine. Imagine. Five years from now, we have another Easter beach ball celebration Sunday. And right now, there's a mom and a dad, not yet a mom and a dad. They're not in one of God's churches this Easter Sunday morning. But a couple of years from now, they give birth to a little boy. And because both, both mom and dad work in that, they hear about New Hope's uh, daycare, and they bring that little one-year-old boy here. They don't come to church that first year of his life, or even the second year of his life, or even the third year of his life. And then they have a little girl, and they bring her to the daycare. And they decide when the little girl is one-year-old, well, let's go to New Hope on Easter. They've loved our children so well that our children are coming, especially our son. He's coming home at three years old and telling all kinds of Jesus stories and singing all kinds of Jesus songs. And so they come on that Easter Sunday. And they come on the Sunday after that and the Sunday after that. The mom's heart and the dad's heart that's moved in the children. What's well, 10 years from now? That three-year-old boy is eight, and that one-year-old girl is six. As the mom and dad and those children come into church on an Easter Sunday morning, well, it's another beach ball Sunday 10 years from now. The mom and dad are so thankful that New Hope had a day school, a daycare. And the little boy and the little girl, they're a part of the never-a-day story. We have some of those never-a-day stories already around us in some of our children. There's never a 100% guarantee, but never a day, never a day. We can dream that. We can see that. We can already see moms and dads and their little children walking through those doors into an amazing daycare through us, through us. So God's kingdom is ever warmly expanding in us and through us and all around us and way beyond us. Is that a vision that maybe you can get excited about? Is that a vision that maybe you might want to stand up with your beach balls? Because the band has another awesome, awesome 1970s vintage rock sound ready to go. So let's uh, stand up that through us, through us, through us, the kingdom of God is ever warmly expanding through us, through us. Let's go. <clears throat> for those of you that are not liking this, only one more time. For those that you are liking this, one more time. God's kingdom is ever warmly expanding in us, all around us, th- through us all around us and way beyond us, in us. There's two ways to live. There's two ways to live in this world as we follow Jesus or we follow this world. Two ways to live. Life is uh, like a circle. And we can live in ways that that we're always expanding. There's a 
open gap and we're looking, how can we expand more or we can shrink? Uh, again, the reason that I'm bringing this up here is not just for an object lesson, but also thought I'd try out for the music team. They're not biting on that one. God's kingdom is ever warmly expanding. Is it ever warmly expanding in you, in your heart? Again, there's all kinds of things that come against us. So it's not just about the, the circle of this whole idea. If we're following Jesus, there's going to be this expanding that happens in all of our hearts. But we live in this world, and man, this world can promise us the sun and the stars and the moon, but you already know, so many of you already know that every time you try to follow that, boy, it just shrinks in on you. So uh, what are some of the other ways that we can, if we're, if we're following this Jesus, we, we all follow something. You followed Jesus into this church this morning. But as you go out, you may not keep following Jesus this week, but you'll be following something. You can follow sports. You can follow politics. You can follow the news. You can, you can follow the, 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 the next great movie that's going to come out. You know, the Avengers is coming out. I'm sure I'm going to go see, see that. So we, we're following. So we're, we're going to keep following in this world, but are we following in such a way that we end up shrinking? Or are we following such a way that there's an expanding happening in us? The other thing about this idea of following, are we following together? We have room to, for other people to come along with us. Or again, do we know that we've got people in our lives, but we really don't open up ourselves to them. We, we just don't, it, we, because oftentimes they want something that's mine. They want something, uh, they, they, they want some of my time. They want some of my heart. They want some of my, my money. They, they want my, and, and we, we can shrink, but there's always this, another way to live that we can do it together. Uh, the, the other th thought about this idea, as we're following Jesus, especially as you're following Jesus, will we follow him long? All the way. All the way. Because sometimes now some things can happen to us that are pretty hard and we kind of think, oh, I just can't do it. I just, and it's always shrinking. Uh, following Jesus long isn't always going to be pain-free. It's not been pain-free in my life. It's not going to be pain-free in my life in the years to come. But following Jesus long, it's always expanding my heart. We prayed in the Lord's Prayer about the kingdom of God. So there is a kingdom of God, and that kingdom of God is always expanding. Always expanding. There's a kingdom of this world, and it looks very, very impressive, but you know the kingdom of this world just isn't going to do for your heart what the kingdom of God can do for your heart. There, there is a wonder to this kingdom of God that is ever, it can do it in your heart. As old as I am, I sense the kingdom of God still expanding in my heart. I don't feel a lot of shrinkage because I'm following this Jesus. I'm following him long. I'm following his beauty. I'm following his goodness. I'm following his truth. So there are ways that when we uh, expand the kingdom of God, um, it's kind of like these beach balls, but we also know that even in this world where we're trying to ex expand in that, the world comes with us with a lot of pressure. It wants to suck the life out of us even as it's given us all kinds of promises. But then there is this breath, not just of Jesus, the Father and the Holy Spirit. And with a warm breath of life, 
Now expand our hearts in us over and over again. The world's going to keep doing this. Jesus. Holy Spirit. Father, and I'm out of breath. <laughs> God's kingdom is ever warmly expanding in us and through us and all around us and way beyond us. Are we following Jesus? Are we following Jesus? The wonder of following Jesus is that he'll keep moving us. Here at New Hope, we want to help you move with Jesus. The whole idea is that we will be going up with Jesus like beach balls. But not just cheap little beach balls. Our souls matter. There's an eternal weight to our souls, as we heard about on Good Friday. Following Jesus. We help you move with Jesus. Going up with Jesus, because when the warm breaths of God come into us, well, you just keep expanding upwards like a hot air balloon into the sky to go and be with Jesus. So, for those of you who are so excited that we get to do this one more time, stand up, grab some beach balls. And for those of you who are not so excited, stand up, grab some beach balls, and watch what happens. Music team! Music team!